Hello and welcome to this video about the upgrades that I've done to this CR10S printer in the last three years that I've had it. The first thing that I want to show you are these two diagonal beams that I added. They are made from the same profile that the printer is made of, so it looks stuck but it's not. The next thing that I want to show you are the LEDs that I added. So you can see the LEDs there in the back, but you can also see them here on the top profile swapped these stock plastic parts of the extruder for this full aluminium extruder parts. You can see it's dual gear so there's much more force applied to the filament when it's pushed in. I swapped the PTFE tubing inside the hub end for this Capricorn tubing but I kept the rest PTFE tubing because it's cheaper so yeah why not. The small metal thing you see here is a temperature sensor and it goes to this display over here. It's to keep an eye on the temperature above the bed. So this part you can see right here is the original part from here, but it is cracked, as you can see. So I printed a new one to replace it. This bracket is also cracked and I replaced it with a metal one. It's here on the sides, this part. These two knobs right here were the original knobs to adjust the bed, but I ordered these new way better ones on AliExpress. This part right here was the original fan duct that was used for the cooling fan for the part right here, but I swapped it out for a printed one you can see under here. It's way more directed than the previous one. Here in the back you can see the last upgrade I did, so this belt keeps the two Z axes connected together so they won't get out of sync anymore. So here you can see the enclosure of the printer. So if I open this up, you can see it's pretty dark inside and this is why I added the LEDs. Sorry for the fan noise, but now you can see the LEDs in action. So you can see it's actually pretty well lit. Also in the back there is a bit of foam to keep the noise a bit down. I also forgot to mention that I switched to using this magnetic belt plate. The filament goes through the gap you can see right there and comes out the other side through the filament sensor and into the extruder. So that was it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one, bye.